I had a Vauxhall Corsa, which I called Icky. Then I had a 1965 Morris Minor called Hebe. So the new, the classic. And I even had a 1.8 litre Morris Minor Traveller called Carrie. She went like the clappers. But there's one car that I now own, which I love more than any of the others. This is actually legally a car, although for the DVLA, it's actually registered as a motorbike. Believe it or not, it's the most fun you can have on three wheels. Let me show you why. Aside from the very small cockpit and rather bizarre looking LED display in front of you, it's not a bad car to sit in. It's got a fairly comfortable seat and of course a proper seat belt, which is more than some of its rivals can boast. The driving position is actually like quite a few sports cars I've driven and it feels comfortable and everything's within reach. Oh, and it's an automatic. There are two main body styles, the basic and the fun. And you can also choose between a 36 or a 48 volt system to give you that little. This car has a range of about 20 to 30 miles, depending on how fast you drive and how well you drive. Electric cars drive completely different to petrol ones. You don't have your foot constantly down, instead you learn to coast. Although it may look like the illegitimate love child of Sir Clive Sinclair's ill-fated C5 and an Intercity 125, the Mini L is no joke. It enjoys cult popularity amongst German commuters and other Europeans. With a top speed of nearly 38 miles an hour, this car really is very nippy in town traffic. And it handles really well as well. You can actually turn it around in a single lane street without any problems at all. This car is so easy to drive. It really is. While there's only a handful of L's in the UK at the moment, you can actually buy one brand new from Germany for less than £6,000. Underneath this box, is the batteries in the motor. I'm not going to show them to you. You don't really need to know about them. All you need to know is you plug your car in in the evening and it's ready to go in the morning. No more queues for the petrol station. Okay, so you need off-street parking and you need access to a power point. But if you've got those, or even a garage, then why not get one? Think then how much money you'd save, especially with a free road tax and really, really cheap insurance, commuting to work on a daily basis in one of these. You could put all that money away and save it for the weekend, join a car club, drive a Porsche when you feel like it, go on, it's your money, you've saved it.